What's up, everybody? Welcome to IGN Plays Live. I'm your host, James Duggan, joined by Mitchell Saltzman. Uh, we are checking out Halo Wars 2, which came out today, but I've been playing it for weeks. I have not point. been playing it at all. Uh, uh, and I hope that uh, through watching you, sure. I will have a better understanding of whether I want to get this. Well, yeah. Uh, so here's the standout mode, in my opinion, and this is a very divisive mode. Our reviewer, uh, Dan Stapleton, wasn't a huge fan of this, um, but this is what we are going to primarily be checking out today. We can jump into the story, we can jump into the traditional multiplayer. It's all up to you, and you can give us that feedback and tell us what you want to do, as well as ask us questions about the game uh, on YouTube, on Twitch. Uh, but the best way to do it is go to Twitter and tweet at IGN with the hashtag IGN Plays Live. Um, and we will also be monitoring Facebook chat. So welcome, everybody. We're going to be playing Halo Wars 2 for the next two hours here. Uh, I'm going to show, uh, show off what I've learned, albeit not... I haven't learned that much, but I've learned some. So why don't we just jump right Quick into question. the Quick question. Should sure. there be sound in this menu? There should. Uh, can we go full screen and uh, really sure. quick? There we go. Let's do the usual fix here. Of course. Okay. Uh, let's <laughs> give that a test. Ah, hey, I hear it. Yeah, success. We can hear it. All right, back to the game. Might have to restart. Yeah, we might. Well, anyway, oh, we're, we're good? good. We're good. This sounds oh, great. I hear, I hear music and sound effects. All right, let's do it. Let's jump cool. right in. So this is Blitz. Um, this is kind of, uh, if you think about uh, traditional RTS, meets uh, something like a Hearthstone, um, what? where you're playing cards. Yeah. So basically, uh, really quick, let's back out. I'm just going to show you my my deck. You can create decks, and basically these decks summon conventional RTS units. Um, this is my favorite one, albeit not the best one. Uh, and I can come in here and I can basically choose some of this stuff and be like, you know what? No, I want these reactive marines and they you can jump in here and have descriptions. Now, a game like Hearthstone, a game like Magic does a really good job of explaining exactly what you're getting when you pay for it. Right. In this case, it's 60. Um, this game, not so much. It kind of leaves a lot up to you just have to experience it and figure out exactly what the unit is, how powerful it is. Another key feature, when we open packs... Um, when you get more than one card, it adds to the strength of the unit. But that isn't displayed anywhere. So anyway, let's just so jump I, right in. Well, I have a very important question. Uh, yeah. I saw a thing that said buy packs there. Uh, so I imagine you pay real money for these packs. Yes, that is Is there great. an in-game method of, of obtaining them? Or Acquisition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get daily rewards. Uh, I actually don't think that there are that many cards relative to other uh, CCGs. Obviously, this is not the primary uh, mode of the game. But... Um, so it's really not that difficult to at least get the units. Upgrading them is a different story. Hey, oh, Java. Hey, Java update is available, everybody. <laughs> um, let us know what's going on in the chat there. Uh, make sure you ask us questions. Let us know your experience. Um, tell us your sweet blitz strategies or uh, how you've been enjoying the campaign. Yeah, let me know. Um, what's this game about? S three four five J Dog. It's about, about killing stuff. It's right, about, this it's, guy's ranked I seven. Mean, hey, it's. It's about wars and Halo, obviously. Uh, but it, this is this is the sequel. Did you play Halo Wars 1? I actually didn't play Halo, Halo Wars 1. Um, I, I played very little of it, and I think the the cool thing about Halo Wars 1 was that it, it, it made a admirable effort to bring a genre that is d mostly, you know, you, you think of RTS, you think of PC. Yeah. Um, and it did a, a decent attempt at bringing that onto consoles. It, it based the entire control scheme around being able to play with a controller. Um, I see you're using mouse and keyboard here. Sure. Uh, how, how does it feel on bad. the PC? It feels bad. It's it not feels great. Bad. It feels um, bad, ladies and this, gentlemen. This is maybe the worst controlling RTS that I've ever liked. Um, we can create control groups here. Let's see. Well, it's just harder on a farther away monitor. Basically, there are these resource drops. You can ask me more about the control scheme later. <clears throat> um, this guy's gonna come in and contest. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any of that. Um, there's a lot of bugs. Like I think the base control scheme isn't terrible. It's certainly not the best. There's some things that are just straight up missing that you would see in other RTSs. But uh, with that said, it basically like um, there's just these these kind of almost game breaking bugs that really hold it back uh, for me enjoying the experience a lot. Interesting. See that? See that sick micro right there? Oh yeah. Right. I'm very impressed. Uh, are you? Are you? Uh, are you, What's your APM, James? 
uh, at least I, five. I feel like you're just you're just clicking uh, extraneously to to make people think that you have a really high APM. I mean, isn't that the, the strat? That's that's what people do. All right, that's we're going to get a Grizzly up here. This is a unit that is specific to this commander that I'm using called Forge, who is day one DLC that you can come and get. <clears throat> oh, man, that's unfortunate. He's going to get the second uh, resource drop, which means I'm going to have trouble with my economy, which is never good, especially going against a player who's just as good as this guy. Um, we're going to not fight that fight. That's a little bit too much for us. We're going to go down here and make him move around. So you talked about the, the card system in this game. What sure. Is this a capture control kind of uh, deal? Yeah, like yeah. Overall broad scope? Excuse me. It's a uh, best of, yeah, it's like a, a hold two. Uh, this guy is now testing. Oh, he wiped out my units. I didn't even see. My bad. This game is probably not going to go well. I'm going to get a vulture up. Um, so my strategy right now is going to be, oh, come on, please be at sea. It's not going to be at sea, though. There's, there's no way. Where did that energy? It said energy drop, right? I, I was not paying attention. Mm. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> um, uh, so I have a question. Shoot. Um, most most RTS they operate on a fundamental rock paper scissors. You build, you know, you build yeah, yeah. air. I'm gonna build, you know, anti air. If you build something that's heavy ground, I'm gonna build something that outranges you. Uh, have you noticed that same style of you know rock paper scissors kind of gameplay in Halo Wars 2? Yeah, yeah. There's definitely anti air, and in fact, if we click on the cards, I can't right now because. I'm too busy uh, trying to kill this dude, but um, it even even shows you how effective certain units are against other units That's on nice. the card, which is really nice. I actually like that a lot. Right, I'm going to use an active ability here called Scatter Bomb, but it looks like he's moving out of it, so that may have been a waste. Uh, I am going to be able to take this point, though. Energy dropped. It's a really good drop. I'm going to back this guy off. Uh, I am going to take my Jackrabbit over. Ah, he's just getting all of the resources. So, um, our reviewer Dan Stapleton, his main problem with this game was the RNG, and it's super RNG heavy. Not only are the cards and what you draw focused on RNG, but also um, where the resource pickups are. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah I, I mean... RNG is something that you, I, I would imagine you want far away from from an RTS that focuses, you know, it, to me an RTS is almost like a fighting game in that it's like the ultimate test of skill against another player. Sure, but I mean, uh, defying the genre archetype I think is fun, especially in a, oh, this guy's got bad news. There's no way. Um, that was a, a, a super unit that only sticks around for a temporary time. Got a scouting assignment for me? And he can afford those because he has such a great economy. Uh, I'm going to start... Let's get a Warthog down here. Um, I actually really like this mode. Uh, the RNG I, I don't have a problem with. I think maybe the pickups are kind of feel bad sometimes. Um, oh, there's a... I have, I have my own kind of super unit. Alright. Uh, we got a question yeah. from Farsid. Uh, or Farsai. I think it's a clever way of saying Farsai. Mm, <laughs> Uh, what are your opinions on microtransactions? So we saw uh, we saw the sure. buy menu for for cards in this game. What? How do you feel about that whole thing? You know, I'm so overly exposed to microtransactions. I just don't think I give a crap anymore. Wow. Uh, I, I think that you can you can do totally fine in this game without the use of microtransactions. Uh, I think there's a lot of good units. With that said, like, you know, there is an argument to be made that you're paying sixty dollars for the base experience, and there's this extra mode on top of it that is potentially charging you more, but. This guy's going to win. I just don't have the... Uh, he got real lucky with the energy drops. They all just fell right where his units already were. So I wasn't Man. quite able to... This is a cool... This is like a legendary unit. <coughs> this is Forge. Uh, there are active abilities in this game, which I really like. Cool. I think the micro in this game is its strongest, absolute strongest thing. Uh, and there's just... Oh, well, maybe I can jump on this point and delay the inevitable for a hot second. We got a question from... Uh, Everett Borislaw, who is True. one of my favorite commenters on YouTube chat, uh, what is your favorite Halo mem memory and why? Oh, boy. I mean, it, I feel like it's got to be um, Halo War. Or, no, Halo Wars. <laughs> no, definitely not Halo Wars. <laughs> it's definitely, um, <laughs> it's absolutely Halo 2. Yeah. Uh, I had some great times with friends in Halo 2 and just a uh, fantastic game in general. Um, 
And then Halo 3, I have a lot of really good Ultra memories making custom maps, line. particularly on that one of the elephant. Do you remember that? Which one? <laughs> the elephant. It's this giant oh unit. Um, boy, if we can hold this somehow miraculously at 199. I'd like to point out that we're one point away from losing, <laughs> but I'm <laughs> sticking it out. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to use a move called Heavy Metal, which increases my resistance. He's, he's just got his deck packed with these, so I, if he didn't pick up um, those resources, he would not be able to afford this shenanigan. <laughs> and I would have absolutely stopped him. But actually, I'm fine. So we're all good here. Are we, are we in the, the middle of uh, watching an epic comeback from 199 to 23, James Duggan? I don't, I don't know. That's, that's a difficult <laughs> thing to answer. Uh, maybe, though. Ooh. I would wager that I'm a better player than this guy, but he has a ton of economy. Uh. <coughs> All I can do is spam units here, and he's going to win that because he's got more. Uh, the other thing I can do is take this, bring this over here. Come on, come on, just go, just go, just go. Uh. Defeat. Defeat. Dang. What are the uh, chat saying? What do we got going on in Facebook chat? Uh, well, yo, guy on the right, where'd you get that shirt? I think he's talking. He's got to be. Oh, it's me. Uh, um, oh man, this man. is probably H&M, I want to <laughs> say. I don't know. My, girl, my girlfriend shops for me. <laughs> my girlfriend shops for me too. Um, <laughs> alright. So, let's do another mode and blitz there. Uh, so I finally got, uh, got Facebook chat up, so let me, uh, really cool. quick run through what's going on. Facebook. What's up, Facebook? What's up? Click for more. I'm clicking. Uh, Justin White says, get good. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Fair. Pretty much. Fair. Yeah, I lost, so he's right. Uh, Joshua Adamani says, Xbox, please step up your exclusive games, which is uh, an interesting interesting thing to, to say because this is one of uh, the very few exclusive games to Xbox and uh and Look, PC. we're playing it on a PC. Hey, Isn't that weird? That. I think I think the, the days of Xbox-only exclusives are... are Slowly but surely dwindling. Yeah. Um, you think uh, you think Xbox is give or you think Microsoft <laughs> is giving up on the exclusive? I think Microsoft is is in the the habit of taking their Xbox exclusives and poorly porting them over to a PC. Um, they have been doing that since the games of Windows Live days, if you can recall as far back. I uh, I've tried to block it out. Yeah, Windows <laughs> games for Windows Live was just the worst service of all time. So bad that they just canceled it and started a new one. That was, that was um, a, a dark stain on which is now uh, the on Windows gaming store. Uh, okay, we got a question from uh, Matthew Marcy on sure. Twitter. I, fortunately, I don't think you can answer this. How does the game play with a controller? I don't know. People say it plays well. Um, I would just be frustrated. You know, it's 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 weird because I think Halo Wars um, is a game that, in its initial incarnation uh, for the Xbox 360, I believe it was, right? Yeah. Um, was an RTS that played on, on a controller, and that was like the hook. That was what separated it. That's what made it interesting. And in that arena, in that small pond, it was a very big fish uh, of, of console RTSs. Now when you come over to this, you have to compete. Uh, and I actually don't think it takes a lot to compete. I think you just need a, a solid control scheme. And I think um, what would have notched this game up a couple of ranks in my book was some QA, uh, some, some execution on the feedback that was received during the open beta. Um, I basically let's let's talk about the bugs in this game. Um, bug talk. Bug talk. If you're considering buying this on PC, or even if you're considering buying this on console, uh, man, I just keep. Oh, I know this guy. Oh, this guy's Sack really good. Lunch. I played this guy earlier today. Um, we're gonna use the same deck. Sack lunch. Uh, all right. Seven. So before before I have to. Control uh, completely focused on APM. Let's talk about the bugs. The two major bugs that stand out in this game are units getting stuck. They just can't move anymore. Oh Sorry, God. they can't move. And so you get, just lose those units. You can <laughs> you can lose 200 plus cost units oh in Blitz because they can't move anymore. GG. Um, the other thing is when you click your mini map. This is PC exclusive. When you click click your mini map, maybe two out of ten times it doesn't respond um, for a good five seconds at a time. And anybody who's played an RTS and knows that you have to get your camera everywhere, all over the place, knows that that is ridiculous. Um, 
I just want to pause you for a quick second to address the YouTube chat. I see you. I I know that you guys want us to play story mode. As oh, soon as as soon we as uh, Hunk McChunk over here finishes this duel, Chunk. Okay, here we go. So this uh, is, this we'll is, check out some story. This is uh, I'm going to try and ninja. Um, this mo this resource grab. Let's get over here. Oh, there's a good example of of, of like when I clicked. And now they got the units. So <laughs> there's a great example of a bug that just screwed this game right up. Um, and that's the experience you have to look forward to if you're going to pick this up on PC. In my mind, you shouldn't do it. You should wait. Because these bugs are inexcusable and they sh should not have launched uh, with the game. All right, I'm going to bring a Vanguard Kodiak over there. So basically what just happened was I went to click the, the minimap, didn't respond, and I then had to, like, WASD my way over there, which doesn't feel good. All right, we got we got a new energy drop. I'm going to be able to get that one at least. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm just going to hold that off. Two over there. So this is looking good for me so far. Um, let's see what he's mustering. All right. So how does how does Blitz differ from the regular style of, of mode? Like, do you, I see you don't have you don't have a base. You're just kind There's of spawning no in yep. units from your cards. That's exactly right. Uh, so, is it, is the traditional mode of Halo Wars? Does it still have like the usual? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's still there. Okay. Um, oh, see you. So this so that's kind of cool. It's a, it's a mode that allows you to focus entirely on micro. Yep. As opposed to, you know, having to go back to base and worry about what you're making, what you're teching up to. Yeah, which I quite et cetera, et cetera. like. I think it's very fun in that sense. Um, all right, I'm waiting for, uh, you know what, I'm not going to be able to wait. I'm in a weird spot. Um, we're actually doing okay. All right, so you can see my resources ticking up there. Basically, every time I pick up those resource drops, I am increasing the rate in which I generate resource, uh, which really helps towards the latter game. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drop the... The must-have unit here, which is the Grizzly, the grizzly. Is like a scorpion on steroids. It is just a a total monster. So uh, we're gonna bring this over here. We're gonna bring that guy right here. We're going to uproot this guy. Bring him over here. Set him up, and then we're gonna try and have a really nice team fight here. Uh, I'm gonna get some anti-air spawned for this team fight. Hopefully, he doesn't know this is coming, and we're in a stage where the resource drops aren't gonna happen for a hot second. Um, let's get this guy back here. Okay, here goes. We're charging in. This guy's going to set up. He's set up. He's going to start chilling him. I'm going to bring this go. guy in. I am going to... He's microing his units away. I'm going to launch a rocket volley over there, doing a ton of damage, which is really good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to drop heavy metal, which is going to buff my defense <laughs> and uh, pretty much going to awesome. secure victory. This is the best part of the game. Okay, uh, resources are up. I, so even though I want to get distracted, I can't. That's the RTS key. You have to be able to multitask. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, don't know what happened. Don't know what happened. So did you did you walk away from that uh, on top or? Oh come sure on, micro, micro, here. micro. Oh no! Now uh, oh, you got him. Yeah, I got him. All right. So time to bring this guy away. I actually didn't walk away from that on top. But that's okay because I was able to get two resources out of it, and it looks like I'll be able to get a third. Um, I'm gonna try and steal this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is how you win the game. I just stole a bunch of resources from that guy, and now my economy is going to be in a much better spot. Uh, looks like he's going to get that one, though, which is unfortunate. Where's my... Uh, there he is. There's my big guy. Take him out. Uh, another question that... I, I, I'm i so curious about this game. Cause sure. I'm a big RTS fan, um, but I just never got into Halo Wars 1. Sure. Uh, is is it all 1v1 or are there 2v2, oh, he didn't 3v3 take this. modes? That's a terrible idea. Uh, no, there's actually the primary mode that they're trying to push is a 2v2 mode, um, which is interesting. You you don't have to summon units to your base, but if you summon them out of your base, they take a health hit. But sometimes in this instance, it can definitely be ready. Uh, I'm going to be able to brute force this, and I'm actually going to have a scatter bomb up. So take a look at this epic action that's about to unfold. Um, let's go ahead and... You know what? I'm going to save that. I don't need it. Oh, 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 oh. So this guy's... Yeah, that guy's active is up. I take it back. I do need this, so I'm going to use it. Um, we have this guy ready to snipe. By the way, I forgot to, I, I forgot to mention, we did have someone in the chat uh, said that they bet $5 on your loss. I think you're doing pretty well here, so... Uh, I am doing pretty I'm gonna, well. I'm going to find your comment, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hound you down for that $5. <laughs> yeah, this is going well. Um, 
Let's get a Vander a Vanguard Kodiak in here. That's going to be fine. Uh, let's get... Oh, man. Where's my mouse? I also love that they, they got the, uh, the classic Halo announcer guy doing all the, the call-outs. Yeah, yeah. I like that, too. Um, all right. This is Forge. Remember, guys, IGN is bad at video games. <laughs> we never win. We certainly could never manage anything as complex as an RTS. Never, ever, ever. Even though I'm controlling all three points right now. He is, oh, he's going to snipe those. I hate my words just then. That's all right. Don't get cocky, James. Indeed. Uh, but I... He's, he's closing the gap. I'm closing the gap. Oh, I'm you're blue. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I thought because it said hunk on the left no, side, you were red. This is an epic, epic comeback uh, okay, tale. Okay. Um, Let's get a Grizzly up. All right, we lost C. That's fine. We're going to bring Forge out of there. We don't want him to die. We're going to bring him back to base because he's going to take. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? We got this guy up. That's all right. Let me get that guy up. Actually, this guy's fine. Come back. All right, so now I'm in a spot to win the game. I have control of A and B, which are the points that are directly connected to each other. Um, I'm going to bring these guys closer to B because that's where we're going to clash. Uh, that guy has a shield that regenerates. That's fine. This guy is going to be my runner. So at this point, he should not have the economy to be able to come back um, with heavy units. I have a heroic unit here. I have a giant guy. And then I have... Who's, who's crying? Oh, this guy! Oh, no! <laughs> See ya, Kodiak! That's fine. This is all fine. We're going to bring in a second vulture, and this game is completely over. Give me your five doll hairs. <laughs> we got some cores dropped. I'm going to go after them just for uh, just for fun. We don't really need them at this point. Um, uh, to answer questions about, uh, so someone asked if Naomi plays will be on tomorrow. Uh, we are changing up our, our streaming schedule. Uh, yep. I mean, yeah, so we're going to be doing... Uh, Starting March, Check really, uh, we're going to be going down to, to one is. stream a week. Look at this. Look, the nukes are coming. Look. Throw the nukes. See ya. <laughs> oh, dang. That's an active ability. That's super fun. That's awesome. But anyway, sorry. Uh, so uh, we're, we're changing up our streaming schedule. Uh, Naomi is going to be on a uh, Let's Play series called Scared Senseless, which we're doing for Resident Evil 7. Watch this. Uh, oh, it's, the game's going to end. I was right. going to bring all my units over there, this epic teleport. But anyway, there you go. But anyway, uh, yeah, so Tuesday is going to be our stream day, and uh, Naomi you can find on Scared Senseless Resident Evil 7 on yes. IGN. Check it out. Indeed. So yes, let's check out some story mode. Great. No, let's check out some pack openings. Pack openings? Um, yeah. So. Got some booster packs? I got some booster packs from doing dailies, uh, which you can see right here. I have two complete, then there's also weekly challenges, and these give you experience, uh, and then when you level up, you get packs. So I have three. We're going to go ahead and open them. Warthog. What's up with YouTube chat? YouTube what chat? What's going on? So you can see the flash, like the Hearthstone flash, before you open something based on its rarity. Um, and there you can see it leveling up, which gives it more HP and more speed. But nowhere does it display what that HP or speed is. Uh, you actually have to like look at the unit when you summon it, summon it and count the pips. Uh, its speed, you kind of just have to guesstimate. And then you also can't right-click it when it's here um, to kind of, like, go into a more in-depth mode. So... Oh, that's a new card. Call in an armed spirit transport to drop off bans Banshee units. Banished units. Oh. <laughs> Banshee. Banshee. I said Banshee. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I wanted, oh, I wanted to see Banshee. It's a legendary. <gasps> Honor Guard. That's my second one, so you can see I'm halfway to a level two. And that unit is super powerful. He um, has a shield and a cloak. If they don't have any detect, you can kind of just mess them up. That's what Shipmaster's playstyle is all about, the cloaked units. Uh, all right, we got two more packs. That was a great pack. But you can see um, there's prob there's so there's a couple of anybody can use them legendaries right. or, or specific to UNSC or Covenant. Um, and then there are commander-specific legendaries. But in total, compared to Hearthstone, uh, or, or a magic set, which is around 300 cards. There's not a lot here in terms of cards. It'll so be, It'll be interesting, I think, to see how much support uh, 343 and Creative Assembly drop for this game. Are they going to introduce new sets, you think? Or, uh, uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Well, hey, I got a Conjure Strike. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
You know, I don't think they will, actually. Yeah? Yeah, uh, unless this mode takes off. And that's the other thing that's, like, a little bit depressing about this. When you play a CCG or TCG, you expect continued support. I would uh, be very surprised if we saw new cards. Um, although we saw a new... Uh, you know what? They may do DLC. They may do, do new DLC commanders as the new cards, so they may just increase the commander pool. But that's not as great, because that means you're not necessarily increasing your favorite commander's pool of cards, but rather just a new one. Network error. Network cool. error. Wonderful. All right, story mode? Let's do story mode. We did have someone say, one more Blitz match, please. We will. I'm sorry. Before we can't We can't please anyone, but we probably will go back to Blitz. Yeah. I like, man, I just This is, this I is love James' Blitz. favorite mode. It right? is. All right, new game. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, heroic. Let's do it. That's a good starting point for any Halo campaign. Indeed. I heard Blur did the cutscenes for, for this game. They're good, man. They are good. <laughs> is in a situation I just moved the <laughs> cursor out of the direct <laughs> middle of the screen. I'm certain Professor Anders would enjoy that level of mission. So let's keep it between us, shall we? Uh, what do you guys think? Cutscenes? No cutscenes? First guy you see. Yeah, yeah we'll see. We'll let us know. Do you want us to skip the cutscenes? I can skip this. We can, they, we can skip all of this. They are pretty fantastic looking, but if you guys they want really to good. get the gameplay, uh, we'll go with the very first comment in YouTube chat. We're looking at YouTube chat right now. Then we're going to jump over to Facebook chat. You know what we need? We just need, like, a ticker with questions. We should get an intern to pull questions from <laughs> all the various chats. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Well, we someone says do story <laughs> mode. We are. This is story mode. You're watching it. Do you want us to skip the cutscenes? They probably want us to stop talking. All right, we have Kevin De DeBolt is the winner. Skip that S. <laughs> hey, I know Kevin DeBolt. What's up, Kevin DeBolt? <laughs> oh, my God. Kevin DeBolt and I go way back. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah, we used to play, uh, what was the first thing we played? Warhammer together? Oh, man, there's so many people that are saying no skip. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin beat you to it. Kevin was fast. Blame Kevin. Kevin was a fantastic oh, Street Fighter player. No, no, no skip. Don't do it. No, skip, no. <laughs> we skipped. Sorry. Sorry. Um... The cutscenes are super long. They're cool. I hear the stories. Good to eh. have our feet back on real ground again, doesn't it, Alice? You saw this place in the drop down, Douglas. Nothing real about it. Uh, so right. We don't know what's waiting for where us canonically does Halo Wars take place? Does it take place in do. the the actual can of the, uh, the mainline series, or is it uh, a side story? It is. I believe it is a prequel. Prequel um, to the events of Halo One. To the events of Halo One. I mean, it would have to be right because right. there are. Uh, more than one Spartan, and I, you know, obviously in, in Halo 4 there, there's more than one Spartan, but for a good long time, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, but I believe Halo, Halo Wars 1 was also a prequel. And this is about the Covenant War. This is about uh, the first encounter of brutes. All right, what is this big cool pickup? You've collected a Phoenix Log. Phoenix There's Logs are unlocked by finding collectibles in the campaign. No. New York campaign hurt. entries. They must have been desperate. Why wouldn't they have defenses? They must have expected to be a target for the Covenant. Yes, this is the story, uh, Mordecai, Mordecai Chris. Mordecai Chris? That's a cool name. Oh, cool jump. <laughs> I have to say, one thing I do, do love about this game is... How much the warthogs feel like warthogs in the game? Yeah, that was one thing I noticed from Halo Wars One. Yeah, they're very, very drifty. I like it a lot. Uh, and in this mode, you don't just straight up like run people over. Like I can't do it to this guy, but you have a charge ability uh -huh. that you ram them with. Um, and a lot of units have active abilities that are a single key. So on keyboard, it's R. I don't know what it is on controller. I like it a lot. I need 500% more questions, Mitchell Salzman. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm trying not to interrupt your your. Oh, I don't talks. care. I don't care, dude. You want me Jump just uh, just cut you off and and ask a, a, a question? All right. First question I see. On Facebook. Oh, what is this though? There's no trail behind the warthog on the light bridge. So far, how does it compare to the first game? Can't answer that because uh, you didn't play didn't the first play. game. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Uh, play XCOM. Uh, 
when XCOM comes out <laughs> with new content, we will play XCOM. Do we have wounded? There's that we Long War mod that we haven't covered, but... Uh, didn't Dan do, do some sort of stuff, something with it? Maybe he did. Excuse my coughing, guys. I'm getting over a cold. It's been a, one of those lingerers. All right, we got we got a question from Andy Rizzo on, on Twitch. This is the most simple question that I'm sure everyone wants to know. Sure. In general, is this game worth getting? Uh, I would wait for a sale. Yeah? Personally, I would wait for a, a heavy, heavy, heavy sale. Uh, what I would also recommend uh, is check out IGN.com. Uh, if... If the full review isn't up yet, it should be up sometime soon. There yep. is a review in progress, up for sure, that's up. And, uh, yeah, you can find out what Dan Stapleton thinks of this game. I guess if you're coming at this um, from, I have an Xbox One and I need stuff to play on it, then I think the answer is closer to yes. If you're coming at this from perspective of, I'm a big RTS guy and I can't wait to check this out because it looks really good, you should wait for a sec. Because uh, you, you will be frustrated in a lot of ways. Um, this That may change in two weeks. There may be a lot of the stuff that, that needs to be fixed, gets fi fixed, but so far, all of the problems that existed in the beta are still here. And it's launch day. It's out. So we can't hold back anymore. All right, we're going to not skip this cutscene. All right. Because I haven't seen it. You're, having, you're so selfish. <laughs> this cutscene is beautiful. Uh, so basically, they were in this drift for 15 years or 25 years. They... We're above uh, planet. Oh, it's Isabella. Spartans, thank God. We have to get out of here. Identify. Isabel, UNSC Logistics, Arc Research Outpost. Isabel, where are the survivors? What's the strength of the Covenant force here? Covenant? No. Um, listen, you're in incredible danger. Oh, no. What was that? It's him. You're coming with us. Odds on it being Atrox or Decimus. Uh, Atri Atriox. Right? Atri Atriox. Atriox. Yeah, I think you're right. I was guessing. I have no idea. Yes. Right. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've uh, paid attention to Halo lore. It hasn't been that good recently. These cutscenes are sick, though. Yeah. Blur is state of the art when it comes to uh, these kind of cutscenes. You know, even if you're not going to buy this, you should totally go on YouTube and watch all the cutscenes. <laughs> which we should put up, by the way. Get Mark up. <laughs> As I suspected. What? <laughs> what is a man? Throws wine glass. So is that Atriox? Yep. Yeah, just shoot him in the head. They die in one shot. They have no, <laughs> they have no overshield. Yeah. Zachary Honaker on YouTube says, Wake up. Oh, wait, wrong series. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why you would, you would be confused. Yeah, sure. Sure. We do. Your own spirit of fire actually. Cutter here. Status. Sir, requesting danger close. On our location. Trailing north. Commence five seconds. Interested in flag. Understood. Archer missiles inbound. Dude, the, um, the aesthetic of the UNSC is so cool. Um, I always thought it borrowed a lot from the uh, <clears throat> the Marines in Aliens, at least in its initial yeah. stage. But man, it is it is easily one of the coolest and vehicles in Halo. Um, 
totally agree. Super. I mean, technology in general in Halo, not just the UNSC, sure. but like the Covenant. Covenant and, sick. Uh, all their the art style involving all their technology. Hey, look, I'm controlling this. You know, I've been way less into the brutes just in general. Yeah, I don't think anyone really. I've never, I've never really, really been into <laughs> the brutes. Okay, this is really interesting. We have a uh, ram them. Yeah. There we go. We have a uh, like close camera. It's not really indicative of the multiplayer gameplay. Right. But this is that's cool. Nice, uh, that's cool. Right, we're gonna ram. Bam. Complete the mission with, uh, what, what was that, 50% health, did it say? All right. Well, we're already there, so that's not happening. <laughs> I guess that just means don't stop, because if I stop, it's going to lose Watch HP out. for sure. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Loretta was asking uh, to a comment of, my, like, oh. referring to my comment of uh, Tuesday streams from now on. Up and Noon is not affected by that, so yeah, don't, no. don't worry about, worry about Up and Noon. Yeah. Up and Noon is its own deal. This is just oh, IGN yeah. plays. Live. Find the controls to extend the bridge. I think I just blasted him. Oh no! Little Star Wars. Alright, I'm gonna try to find some questions. Like I died heroically. Don't you believe it, Isabel? We're on board, Let's go. We have a medical team standing by. Anthony Will S. I can't say that word. Will S. Hahenberg. Uh, what is this? A Halo card game? <laughs> in, in ways, kind of. What is this? A game for ants? <laughs> Halo for ants? All right, well, that's cool. So there's, like, scores you can get. And if I wasn't as bad at microing that Warthog, I would have gotten gold. Sir, Looking through questions. You know, I will say that I think the game is pretty feature-rich rich, uh, for the launch of an RTS. I know you are. There's a full-fledged multiplayer James mode, Cutter. there's Blitz, there's the campaign, Captain and I would imagine the campaign is relatively re replayable. Sure. Uh, Halo always kind of has been. Not so lost, it seems. What happened down there? I need to know what we're up against. <laughs> What's up, man? Read those chats. Uh, I mean, just it, there's it. a lot of people saying, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, and blah, 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 blah. It's a bunch of of Sir. keyboard vomit. Mm. Um, Say one of their names. Let's give them a shout out. Typical, oh, well, typical trader says, so IGN is more than one person. I was right. I don't know what's that referring to, but. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm IGN. I'm also IGN. It's been me this whole time. We are, we are uh, identical twins. Direct your, uh, direct your comments to hate mail at IGN.com, which is actually a place you can send. <laughs> That's what uh, Scott Kalura when he used to be here would. It was his job to just read. read. No, he just set it up because he felt like oh, okay, it. So okay. it's, uh, it's a thing. Oh, the, the origin of the brutes, guys. Really? Is it supposed to be this chuggy? Yeah, I think that's the. I think it's undercrank, unintentionally. This looks like what I would. I would watch a cutscene on my computer. Except <laughs> one. Cool. I mean, production-wise, uh, this is way better than I was expecting. Yeah, Halo Wars One also had very good um, cutscenes. Something I can't speak to. And survive. And his defiance inspired others. You know, I never understood, I mean, I'm not in the movie business, but why Warcraft and why the Halo movie weren't just giant blur animation. Yeah, right? Probably because they would cost $40 billion, <laughs> but... Um, hey, you know, I mean, that's that's a movie budget, though. I know. Yeah, uh, I would totally watch a Halo movie that looks like this. 
I think I think Halo. Uh, <laughs> Halo. I think Warcraft was a really valiant attempt, and I respect a lot of the decisions that were made. But um, I think that movie would have been better without live action. So overall, uh, yeah. how much of you? How much of the cuts of the the campaign have you played so far? We're past it. We're past it. So I've played work? exclusively Blitz mode. All of the all of the time I've sunk into this has been Blitz mode. It really it really hooked me. Um, I like my favorite part of RTS is, is always the micro. Right. So being able to circumvent the micro with these cards and not have to worry about a macro rotation, um, I quite like. I think it's a very accessible mode. I do think sometimes you get bitten by our uh, RNG, but sometimes you also benefit from. It. Sure. We had a oh, comment earlier that said, uh, AI girl reminds me of Anne Hathaway. See that? Sure. What anyone could ask of us. <laughs> uh, Carnage, Carnage Wake, or Carnage Walking, I don't know. Uh, sure. So why aren't you playing with a controller like a real person? <laughs> <laughs> a real person. Why am I not you playing monster? an RTS with a controller? <laughs> Check yourself <laughs> before you wreck yourself on the internet. That's a, a quick way. You're gonna get all the all the fast APM haters after you, and they're gonna be typing so fast because their APM is through the roof. <laughs> You're gonna be sitting there on your controller, tabbing through the Xbox keyboard, trying to respond, and you won't. You'll just have a flood of comments, and you won't be a able flood. to. A flood. A flood. A flood. Uh, I want to see more of the flood, man. Frankly, oh god, I, I thought. <laughs> really? You don't like the flood? I mean, I guess they're just like token zombies or whatever. But um, I just remember in Halo One, man, that that one. 343 Guilty Spark level. Yep. Uh, My least favorite level. <laughs> really? You don't like the flood? <laughs> I, I love like fighting the flood. The flood. I hate the flood. Always worth fighting for. All right, cool. Cutscenes. We're All right, skip well, this, yeah, this at, at this point, like, we're talking over the cutscenes so much, we might as well skip them. Um, I'd like to point out that so far, there's been like 20 minutes of cutscenes and like five minutes of gameplay. Yeah. But hey, here we go. But in yeah, that it. in that uh, small scenes, in that small chunk of gameplay, you got to run over a bunch of grunts, which is pretty cool. We cannot allow that to happen. Strike one. Your job is to Lars Andrew wants to know what's an APM. Uh, actions per minute. There you go. So it refers to. Um, you heard the captain. Strike one. I artificially raise mine by clicking twenty times when I need to click once. But <laughs> uh, professional Shaking RTS players. Every click means something, right? Every click means something, and um, the more you do a minute, the greater chance you stand of winning. All right, so we, we have our... Uh, I just want to go over the control scheme real quick. This actually feels a little bit better um, than Blitz and multiplayer. It feels a little bit more responsive. Uh, I've had some really bad frame rate drops in, in more than one player Blitz. Anyway, uh, we have our one unit here that we can bind, in this instance, to one. And we can have our other units down to two, and I can switch between the two. Those are called control groups. Those are something that are very frequently in RTSs. Pretty standard. Yep. Uh, it doesn't look like either of them have special abilities. Boy, I want a Warcraft 4, man. I would I would kill a man for, uh, for Warcraft 4. You would just kill a man? I would just straight up murder. Here's something I can't understand. <laughs> you would just kill a man for a video game. Yep. Um, what would you guys do for Warcraft 4 in the comments? Let us know. Let us know all the terrible things you would do. I, I, I really, I really would. I, I was hoping this BlizzCon we would get uh, some sort of Warcraft uh, RTS news. Mark my words, this next BlizzCon will be good. There's no insider information there. That's pure speculation. Um, wait, well, wait, come on. You, you said it's, it'll be good. What, what exactly do you mean? Do you, are, you, are you saying next BlizzCon we're going to get uh, some... Some uh, RTS Warcraft knowledge. If they if they have a BlizzCon this year and don't cancel it, there has to be a new game announcement. I'll go on record as saying that. And, All if, right. they, and if they don't, I don't think it's the Blizzard that that we uh, have known for the past decade. Um, true. In terms of the BlizzCon management, not in terms of the way they make games, they're on their A game, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, how many? How much longer can they can they make new content for Diablo three? Yeah, I know, right. Oh, okay. So I can garrison a guy there. Leave garrison, I guess. Why would it? Oh, okay. All right. I should probably be paying attention to what's going on. Uh, so I'm going to give some of my units there. I guess they're like bunker cover. Um, so here's what I'll say about BlizzCon. This is going to be BlizzCon 2017. BlizzCon uh, in the past has only run when they've had significant announcements. This year was an exception. 
uh, this last year, 2016, I went there. There was, you know, there were two new characters for for Heroes of the Storm. There was uh, I mean, there's always Diablo three Necromancer, obviously. The uh, there was a new Hearthstone announcement. Yeah. Um, but Legion had just come out, and there was no major announcement. There was no like kind of killer app for BlizzCon, so to speak. So. Um, yeah, I think this year they can't do that again. Um, <laughs> or, you know, otherwise I think BlizzCon just becomes like uh, uh, a fanfare deal, which is great. You know, sure it's, sure it's profitable. So I assume this was, this is referring to a comment that you might have made, but uh, Amir1991, sure. XSDA on YouTube says, uh, what, R what RTS is always micro? Do you even play RTS? What? Much? What Much? RTS is what? Always micro. Always uh, micro. Did, did you make a comment on like this, yes, this regarding micro in this game? Yeah, the micro in this game is good. That's good that's like, all I said. I'm not I'm not sure. What, you're gonna have to clarify what uh, what that was in reference to, Amir. Are, are there RTSs that don't micro? Is that what he's asking? Uh, I don't I don't remember exactly what you you might have mentioned that could have prompted that. Uh, but anyway, let us know, Amir, if you actually want us to. Uh, the current RTS that I'm playing. discussion about it. Oh, is he? Maybe he's talking about like my lack of micro macro. Um, Maybe. Yeah, I, I I'm not a particular fan of macro rotation just because I don't really have the uh, experience for it. That being said, it's something that I I like challenging myself. Um, this is not a conventional RTS. It's it's I guess more of a uh, well no it's a strategy game. It's a little bit 4x, but I play I have over 100 hours in Total War Warhammer. I love the micro in that game. Um, the macro obviously is turn based though, so yeah. there's no macro rotation. Like that game. Uh, the uh, other, oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say we had a question from Lito. Does this game have base build? Because we actually haven't seen it that does. at all. It does have base build. We're gonna get into that hopefully just a minute. Um, as soon as I eradicate these guys from the garrison. All right, so we have some like NPC units over here that are kind of shelling the garrison. <laughs> Dude, these garrisons are tough. They take a beating. Moving out. Strike one. Closing in on Decimus's salvage operation. So, like, do you so want me to put stuff in the garrison game? Because you you're not sending any enemies at me. All right, whatever. My hog is ready for the full tour, the sir. Jerome, it looks Three. like some of your troops have taken damage. I've What's up, Facebook? What's going on? Let's so see if we got any comments in Facebook that I can read. Right, we're going to send the infantry in there. Let them cut their teeth. Then we're going to bring these guys in. Here are our first units with activated abilities. These are the Warthogs, and they have a cool ram ability. I enjoy using. Of course, I'm getting free blocked by my own minions. Uh, so, whatever. Uh, Harry. Well, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Here Wait, it is. Uh, uh. Oh, no. The guy's not stuck. He was stuck for a hot minute. Oh, okay. You were going to show off some of the. Okay. Well, that actually leads in uh, to the question. Harry. Yeah. Loisid. Loisides. I'm sorry. I, I know. I'm, I oh, pronounced your name. Uh, but he asks Is it any less glitchy from what you mentioned earlier? Have we. Nope. Oh, what? This, this gameplay? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't been using the, the minimap. So the thing is, in the heat of the moment in multiplayer, um, you're all over the place, right? Like you're doing a bunch of this. You're like click, 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 right, click right. over here, click, click, click. But in here, I'm just like trailing around units and right-clicking Age of Empires 1 style. Um, so I can't really say. The story, I would say, has less uh, of a chance to be impacted by the bugs that I've mentioned so far. Um, but the multiplayer is severely impacted. I was go I would go as far to say that it's severely impacted by uh, units getting stuck, which in my I maybe put like 15 hours in this game, not a ton, but uh, enough so far. Uh, and that's all blitz. So in my 15 hours, I've had maybe four units get stuck, which doesn't sound bad, but that's uh, two of those lost me the game. Like two two of those were 200 plus uh, resource units that were legendary units that got stuck and I couldn't move. Yeah, um, that's frustrating. Yeah, yeah, that's frustrating. The thing that impacts the game way more and is just a big pain in the butt that you can overcome just by using WASD. If you hold shift, the camera goes faster, but like, it's this like clicking, sometimes the map won't respond, and basically what'll happen, you can see I'm clicking now and obviously it's responsive, but when that bug occurs, I'll be clicking, 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 five seconds will go by, 10 seconds will go by, nothing. At that point, I just have to give up and like drag my camera up there with a W key. Uh, That's terrible. Yeah, it's, it's real. Real, real tough. That needs to get fixed like yesterday. I can't believe they launched with that. All right, here it is, guys. Base building.
Anthony Miller says, the meta right now is basically bum-rushing the enemy base with anti-building, desperate need of a patch on the Locust and Sentinels. Have you noticed um, any of that? Locusts are extremely strong in Blitz as well. I have Again, I haven't played conventional multiplayer with base building, so I can't speak to that. Um, but I will say, in the new in new releases, um, the meta usually shifts to a faster play style and then gets countered out over a longer period of time. Sure. Um, but... Like, yeah, that's something that could totally need balance. I've seen that uh, Locusts are extremely powerful. Um, the strongest deck that I have seen in Blitz is Decimus. Um, it is a, a grunt rush with a uh, chopper that gives your units, like, extra damage, basically. Um, and then they, they just put Locusts up on a um, hill, and they're really, really difficult to deal with. Okay. Interesting. So this is being constructed. All right, base building time. Base building time. Now that the base is constructed, supply pads are So, online. similar to, Hil this is what I remember from Halo Wars 1, but you don't yeah. actually, like, really build out. You have one yep. base, and you build basically on slots in that base. Sure. To help you build your army. Full tour, sir. I'm on it. Just kind of cool, and, and it's, uh, I really like this from the perspective of being a console RTS, because you don't have to really, you know, move around your base all that much. You just, everything is very centralized and uh, it's easy to access with the controller. Sure. I mean, um, also, I think a big roadblock for a lot of players is getting a, a, an expansion or two, like in StarCraft, for example. The first time that you really have to figure out how to set up an expansion and, and, and macro rotation both of them uh, and get your workers on there on point. It's tough. It's like part of the, the big skill cap of that. are your front line in battle and one of your most adaptable units on the field. Uh, Archer White Marine wants to know who's reviewing this. Dan Stapleton is reviewing this. Uh, let me actually check. Marines are solid. See, that uh, might be up. I know the score he's giving it, but I'm not going to say. You've got a good baseline now, Jerome. Bring in more resources, barracks, or set up some automated turrets to help protect your base as you see fit. Uh, hey, no Thanks, Captain. It's, too, yeah. it's about time some Marines we get some out there. Of our own. Uh, so what's have you, you haven't played uh, the the base building mode, right? So actually, let's just go overview. What are the different modes in Halo Wars 2? Because that was a question that we had earlier. So there's campaign. There is a firefight mode. Uh oh. What's so what's firefight mode compared to? Obviously, we know firefight from the Halo series. Yeah. It's, uh, how does it compare? It's wave based. It's AI. We'll go check some of that out. We'll do some some firefight uh, blitz here in a second. Um, I'm probably going to complete this mission and then jump to the next mode. What time is it? Okay. Yeah. Like Sounds yeah. good. What's the damage? Listen to that. Let's go back to Blitz. Let's... Okay, so the, the Halo Wars 2 review is not up yet. There's a review in progress on IGN.com. I'm pretty sure it will go up today, so just keep an eye out. And uh, you'll be able to see what uh, IGN is scoring. It. Sure. They'll be happy to deliver, Isabel. Ben right. Benjamin All Night says, Someone talk to me. Someone talk to me. Hi. Hi, Ben. How are you doing? I uh, am going to build a bunch of units and rush over here and complete this mission, hopefully. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching, Ben. <laughs> what is this? Oh, the Marines do have an activated ability. One of the things I like is um, if you have multiple units selected, you can select the activated ability, in this case it's R, and they will all use it. Um, so, like, trying to, like, select one of these guys and then... Uh, Obviously, it's not optimal to, to use more than one activated ability at once sometimes, yeah. but it's 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 very beginner friendly uh, yeah. in terms of an RTS. And I would imagine, as far as RTSs go on console, this is probably as good as you're going to get uh, on a controller. I mean, you got StarCraft 64. So. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Is there a competitive scene for that still? Yeah, I'm sure. That, I'm sure. Was there? There's, ever? A, there's a little pocket, a little pocket of people at conventions playing competitive StarCraft 64. All right, so we're going to, uh, okay, can't select the units that way, so we're just going to select some Marines in the back, and the units are dead anyway. Throwing grenades. It's cool. Or what's up here? Let's explore a little bit. Let's go off the beaten path. Let's get our, uh, Warthogs and do a cool charge on here. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Another power node. If we can take it, we'll be starving decimate <laughs> resources. Is there a, uh... Most most RTSs have like a, a, a tech up option where you, where you basically spend resources to 
to not make units, but to get better units in the long run. Is there is there a similar option in I Halo? I doubt I would have access to it on the first mission. Yeah. But. Let's see what's going on, YouTube. Uh, another thing that I'd love to point out in this game is uh, a lot of the times in RTSs there is a delay on activated abilities. In this, it is so instantaneous that it's very easy to land, and I appreciate that a lot. Um, so, like, let's see, for instance. Oh, uh oh, okay, we're getting attacked. Luckily, I have a couple oh turrets up. That's actually not going to be good. I'm going to bring my <clears throat> main force back. Deal with that. I'm waiting for this to cap, but dude, it just takes forever. What is, what is the deal here? Do I like while we have a little uh, opportunity to mention it, uh, this is IGN Plays Live, everyone. Uh, we are live on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and IGN.com. If you have any questions, you can tweet us using the hashtag IGN Plays Live. That is generally the best way to get a question read because Twitter moves very slow. All these four different chats that I'm looking at move very quickly. Uh, so, yeah, hit us up if you have any questions. This is Halo, Halo Wars 2. I am Mitchell Saltzman. You can follow me on Twitter at Jurassic Rabbit. James, where can they find you? Find me at Thuggin Duggin. T H U G G N D U G G N. And uh, what? All right, so yeah, I just have to, have to get a unit in here. Couldn't do that with my own. It's good to know John's still out there. I'm gonna check out what's going on in the YouTube chat right now. Let's do it. Uh, Josiah Walker wants to know, what's your favorite Halo? Halo 2. Halo 2. Um, uh-oh. Actually, I think Halo 2 might be my least favorite Halo. Are you, what is wrong with you? Get out of this room. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm speaking more of a perspective of single player. Uh, I was not a huge fan of oh, sure. Halo 2's, uh, single player campaign. Uh, Multiplayer-wise, I mean, you, you can't argue that Halo 2 is, like, the most uh, important game in the, the Halo series in terms of multiplayer. Yeah. Like, it introduced Xbox Live. Um, I thought the single player was actually quite good. Like, yeah. when you think about it on the whole. I remember the end being a little bit, like, unfinished. But uh, Yeah, I mean, it was it was short. It, it was cliffhanger-y. Um, it was cliffhanger-y, but it's an act, too. Oh, yeah, wow. true. How did I just do that? I just, I just tilted. <laughs> I just rotated my camera. I don't even know. I don't even know what key that is. I've never had need to use it. All right, we're getting a giant army built up here. There's like four more of those to go. I don't have enough. All right, let's end this. Let's end this. Uh, Apocalypse four four eight on Twitch wants to know. Can you talk about season pass? Uh, you know anything about the season pass for this game? Give me more content. More content. It may not be great. <laughs> it may or may not be great. I don't know. Um, I, I actually think, like, I don't know. I, I think buying this game right now is, is enough of something that is difficult to sell on its own. Uh, Halo, the season pass for this game seems a little treacherous um, or, or a little bit tenuous. Amir wants us to talk about the upgrade system. Do you know anything about how... Uh, no, how I have no to access to that right now. Um, we'll get into that once I, we get into... Uh, I imagine you would I imagine you would have access to better units. Um, uh, is he talking about the upgrade system in Blitz? Or is he uh, talking talk, about... Uh, talk about the upgrade unit system in the game. Oh, yeah. I cannot speak for that. I do not have enough experience in the conventional modes. It's all about Blitz with me. We were trying to get Dan Stapleton on this uh, stream so he could he could tell us about his review stuff, but he is actually wrapping up the review. Yeah, so. and it's also just a very busy time here at the IGN office. Yes, no reasons. reasons. No reasons in general. Multiple Don't read reasons. into that at all. <laughs> okay, what is this? Base. All right. Load that base up. A little bit light on units, so let's get. Your vehicles won't be able to get past that shield. You'll need to destroy its power supply with your ground troops. Why are you letting them take our power? Apparently we missed the Master Point Chief reference. And the Stealth Master Z is very upset at us oh for no. it. Oh no. <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? What have we done? 
Uh, let, let me pose a question to you guys in the chat who have purchased this game already and are playing it or played the beta. What do you think? What do you do you like it? Um, what are what are your favorite parts of it? What are your gripes? Let me know. Uh, I mean, I would be curious to know if any of them have experienced similar uh, bugs that you were talking about. Um, I had a couple guys tweet at me after I QQ'd on Twitter and said they had experienced similar stuff. Yeah. And I've experienced this across multiple PCs as well. So this is not a, there's something wrong with my computer issue. Get a real computer. Dude, I got a real computer. <laughs> I, got, I got two GTX 1080s, SLI'd. I got a liquid cool TPU. All right, now you're just playing. What do you got? Cardboard box and a potato. <laughs> <laughs> potato light that I learned in, in school. Nice. Cool. You got a lemon on there. Yep. Uh, All right, base destroyed. Um, I guess we still need to take out shield generators. Oh god, they're over here. Do I need units to camp them? That's kind of annoying. We have a question from Gabriel Bushell. Yeah. What's so, up? Uh, is it the same? Whoever has the larger army with OP damage wins. I mean, Seems yeah. Like it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I have. Quite a few gripes with this game, none of which are about the units. I think all the units are super fun. Um, I've had a good time. I don't. There, there are units that stand out as OP, but I feel like that's kind of like the point. What is this guy doing? He's building a base right on top of where I just blew up a base. <laughs> okay. Cable right, Games so yeah, says I didn't like the blitz mode. Uh, I've actually. That's the second or third person I've heard. Say that, who I'm, I, I'm surprised. I think that's the most innovative mode in this game. I think that's interesting. Uh, like you were saying before, I don't think RNG and RTS uh, maybe mix in a lot of people's eyes conventionally. So I guess I could see that argument. Well, I think I think what 343 was trying to do with with that mode is is capture recapture the success that they had with uh, Warzone from Halo 5. I disagree you completely. You don't think so? No. Because I mean, just from me looking at it, it seems very similar in that it's a separate mode that's uh, completely different from, from the regular multiplayer mode. There's microtransactions involved, and uh, it has this aspect of getting cards. Cards to uh, cards are to hot play. right now, dude. Cards yeah, have nothing I mean, to do. I, I really don't think it's Warzone. Warzone was big team battle. Warzone was a, a an evolution of big team battle True. that had this interesting like economy mode. Um, this this is something that we are seeing a ton of uh, in. In gaming right now, this is mark my words. This is the new MOBA. This is the MOBA of 2016 plus. It's this card-driven thing that summons units. Um, there's doesn't, a game called Paragon Sharpbound. Have a, have a card-based system also? Yeah, sort cards of? are cards are super hot right now. Hearthstone, yep. the trendsetters, super hot. Um, super hot. <laughs> yeah, uh, and and I think that in some instances it works, in some it does doesn't. I think cards are there for the sake of being cards a lot in games like yeah. recently. I'm really sick of this guy continuing to build a base in spite of me blowing it up over and over again. <laughs> this is really annoying. Um, make me more units. Um, but yeah, I think that that is, is it's interesting, right? It's, it's something that I want to see more of. It's something I want to see drawing a hand, summoning new, uh, units. Um, and I think it's I think it's innovative, and I don't think it feels tacked on. Like it, it feels well developed. That being said, it's nowhere near as developer supported, I think, as something like a standalone release of, of a CCG or a TCG. Sure. Uh, I also think it's it's very much uh, 343 and Creative Assembly looking at MOBAs and being like, okay, well, we should probably look into having a mode where, like a like a, a MOBA. All you're really focusing on is the micro aspect. Yeah, I think uh, it's I think it's it serves two two things, right? Number one, it's uh, accessible. I think it's more accessible than the conventional mode. Uh, number two, God, dude, how many times do I have to blow this base up? I'm about to rage quit this campaign mode. This is just it's like just annoying. <laughs> All right, let's go over here, a billion million units, ram this dude. Uh, to to go back uh, to your question of what people think about the game. Yeah. Uh, the Gaming Snake says, yes, I love it, but I want a remake of 14 from Halo Wars 1. I don't know what 14 is. Yeah, I wish I could speak that. Yeah. 
That worked. Ooh, dang, that guy did a ton of damage. Uh, Zachary Honaker says, I really like how clean the graphics look. Yeah, and I think visually it's very nice. The UI HUD are great, whatever it is for RTS. Always needs to be nice in my mind. That's all, that's very true. Uh, yeah, do you think the HUD is clean? Um, my only concern, uh, as someone who is very, like, negligent in uh, their clicking skills, uh, I, I worry about moving my mouse over to the, the mini-map, clicking on it on accident, and sending my guys all the way to, like, you know, the bottom left corner of the map. Yeah, well, oh, the, thing is, the thing is, get good. <laughs> um, I have not had that problem. I've had the opposite problem where I try and click the minimap and nothing happens. Yeah. Um, Apparently, but, and that's, uh, that's a bug, right? Yeah. I guess I need to start using these garrisons a bit more. Uh, the Gaming Snake wants you to lose the or use the leader powers. Hold LT to use them. LT? I'm not using a controller, <laughs> press, bro. Press L and T on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to use the leader powers. I have no idea what those are. Um... Again, all my experience is Blitz, so apologies for my incompetent mode playing. Is, this, is that what this is? What is this? <laughs> all right, let's go into the key bindings, ladies and gents. Um, Total Biscuit made a great vid a video about the key bindings and the, the menu. <laughs> he yeah. kind of like tore the just the menu apart, not even the controls themselves, but just the menu. Oh, it's F. Hold F. It's F. Hold F. Commander Powers. This is how we win. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's super great. There it is. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you, the gaming snake. <clears throat> Marines reporting for duty. Move out. Let's do this. This troops. victory is on you. Wake up, troops. Hostiles. Marines are gonna burn from hostile vehicles. Um all right, so finishing my thought about uh what uh blitz is. Yeah. I think it's I think it's a combination of like cards are hot right now. How can we fit additional revenue sources into this game for sure and then also this is a more accessible mode and i think it's a great compromise on all of those like yeah. i'm not salty that there are microtransactions in halo wars 2 um, because they're way more justified than unlocking something for the conventional multiplayer mode and, and dragging that down and i think blitz is is a mode made with potential microtransactions in mind and as a result all right I not? I don't have the resources to use that. I just want to kill this base for the tenth time. <laughs> I have all of the nodes on the entire map. Ah, oh, but these guys are taking this last one. This is like the most annoying. I don't. I don't think you'll you'll need to get to that point. But uh, Explode 05 wants you to build air units because air units are OP. Yeah, I'm sure they are. I can't yet. I'm like I'm locked. Ah. Just keep spamming Marines, I guess. Just Click cool, harder. You know, They'll come faster. Here we go. Okay. This has got to be captured at this point. Come on. The <sighs> no, guys. Go over here. Go over here and stop this from happening. Get some pineapples out there. Uh, Remnants right, so of the Titan captured. wants to know, can you play Blitz with bots? You can. We'll check that out. Let's check that out after this, because that's yeah. an AI mode that I actually kind of enjoy. More so than this <laughs> annoyance. This is just me not knowing what I'm doing in the, in the conventional setting for sure. I take full responsibility for this, but... Alright, so I have all the power nodes. They said when the power nodes were captured, the shields would be down and I'd be able to get through. Let's let's see what's up. Let's see if I can get in here. Did you get your, your leader power in there, there yet? It's restorative drones, but I don't really... I guess I could use it. Okay, okay here we go. Great. We're in. We're in like Flynn. Let's let's kill this thing. Do it. Oh, that that shield destroyer. Ugh. I thought he was talking about the power nodes. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Well, I'm out of. Facebook chat. telling you to press F. I'm pressing F, dude. I got it. <laughs> Uh, Polo Sharon has a question. Is there a reason IGN is holding off on the review? So no, it's 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 going live in like a minute. Yeah, uh, it's a review in progress, and I think the reason why uh, d we decided to do a review in progress is because oh, can I talk about this? Oh, I have, do it. I'm real, I'm real salty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me explain. This what is just happened? This is before my time um, about review in progress. Yeah, and, and why when a review in progress goes up, you should be um, obviously voicing your opinion in any capacity is totally fine. Get in the comments, tell us what you think. If, if review in progress is stop performing, 
and we decide people just straight up don't like them and would prefer for us to be entirely silent, we will do that. Uh, but here's why review in progresses exist. Um, back when, back in the days, uh, even before I was in the gaming industry, um, oh, man, this is, why is this guy? Uh, games used to go gold master, and they would go uh, and they would get duplicated. Um, the the program would basically be duplicated on discs and shipped out. And during that whole logistics, we need to get the game out to retail stores uh, so people can purchase it. Process is the time reviewers had to review the game, and that was as long as a month. Yeah. Um, and that was a really nice long window. And obviously, as digital releases have been happening and, and, and the launch state of the game is just another patch in this iterative cycle, um, that window has shrunk significantly. Uh, and so, with that in mind, reviewers have not been getting games as soon. And now we've seen people like, uh, developers like, and publishers like Bethesda deciding, you know what? The reviewers get it the same day everybody else does, and people applauding them for that. And I know gaming jur journalism and, and the gaming press in general is not. Did I just blow up a bunch of guys? I think you just blow up a bunch of guys. Just blow up a bunch of guys. <laughs> oh, he's got honors! Oh, oh God! Um, so, like, I totally understand on their part. Actually, I have no idea if they want to sell more games, I guess, without reviewers having a chance to lay into them. There's really no other excuse than I can think of because it's allowing... The way that they sold that was like, hey, everybody's getting the game at the same time. This is for the fans. It's like, no, reviews should be for the fans. It doesn't have to be an IGN review. It doesn't have to be one of our competitors' reviews. Reviews in general are good for consumers because they let you know what you're purchasing. Um, and with that in mind, like, we have had very little time. Uh, Halo Wars 2 is a, a, an example of one of those times where we got a review window. It wasn't super, super large. Um, and we would have felt better rendering an educated opinion after playing the entirety of the game and all of the modes and talking about it, things like that, than playing it for the first 24, 48 hours, being like, yeah, it's this score. Like that. Why, why would you do that? Why would you want to read a review for somebody who's sunk very little time into it? Sure. So that's what a review in progress is. That's sure. why review in progress is exist. It's, hey, here are my feelings at this point, but we haven't finished it, and we're not going to be disingenuous and say, oh, yeah, we beat all of it. Like, we don't have the time to do that. So review and progresses are there to serve you as a consumer. Now, with that being said, a lot of people don't like them, so if people still continue not to like them and stop clicking them, then we won't make them. We'll just wait. Sure. I think uh, another important aspect, uh, I think one that's very appropriate to Halo Wars 2, is that uh, a lot of the times uh, we, may get, we may get a game early, but... Uh, a multiplayer focused game like Halo Wars 2 uh, that depend like your enjoyment of the game will depend on how the servers work at launch. Sure. And the servers have been very good for this. Yeah. There haven't been certain problems. The, the problems with this game are uh, like bug-oriented. But, bug -oriented, but what I was getting at is that we don't know that sure. until the servers sure. go live. Yeah. Uh, and to avoid another situation like uh, you know the the, Sim the City. disaster. Well, yeah, there's there's Sim City. There's Halo Ma uh, Master Chief Collection. Uh, to oh, avoid sure, stuff right? like that, uh, you know, we gotta we gotta do a review in progress so that you can know what our thoughts are before before the game is live. But then we also have to be able to reserve final judgment until we are able to play the same game that you guys are. Right. That well, and in an ideal world, like reviews would go up before the game is live, and you'd be able to render an opinion based upon that. Sure. Uh, whether you're gonna buy the game or not, but. That, that window is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And this guy is spamming units, despite me controlling literally all of the power nodes <laughs> for the entire game. <laughs> Come on. He's still, like, his economy is still somehow better than mine. I lost my Spartan. That doesn't help. Um, but yeah, that's that's a little bit of... Oh, hey, here he is. That's a little bit of uh, insight into the review and progress thing. Um, it totally makes sense to be, uh, like, anti... Um, to basically be for reviewers getting a copy of it early and be against review and progresses, that's fine. What doesn't make sense is to be for everybody getting it at the same time and against review and progresses. You're just like you're arguing against your own best interest. Right. Way. And I think last thought that we should we should share on on this subject is uh, let's see, there we go. Remnants of the Titan want to know how did you review Horizon so fast though? So Horizon is an example of us getting a game 
way. In yeah, people were playing state. that for a very long time. Yeah, and um, it's a long game. We got it. We got it very early, and uh, it's not a game that you need to re you need to wait for for servers to to know, you know, how the game's gonna hold up once the the servers go live. So yeah. Yeah. reviews and, in progress. And the final, the very final thing is that every reviewer is different. Like, um, when you read a review on IGN, it's not. There's not a council of people that have sat down and have decided on the score. That's a single person's was. opinion. I wish there was a high council of IGN. A high council that was <laughs> only disturbed for the, the most uh, important matters. <laughs> Where are my Spartans at? How close are you to being this mission? Decision? Man, I hope. I just wish it was over, frankly. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna kill these hunters, and then there should be literally nobody left. Of course, he's gonna spawn units as I'm destroying his base. This is often the case. Uh, let's get more marines. Uh, Coffee Junkie says less inf infantry, more tanks. I don't think. Can you make tanks? At Can't this make point? tanks. Can't make tanks. No, no tanks Locked to be off. had. I wish. I wish there was a scorpion. I could use. Uh, we're gonna jump back over into Blitz, a mode that I understand and feel that I'm okay at. <laughs> uh, Get these guys out of the garrison and just have them lay into this base. Because I assume this is just a victory condition. What are you guys looking forward to most that's coming out in the future? In the next couple months? Uh, I would recommend uh, tweeting, at, uh, tweeting at IGN using the hashtag IGN plays live with that answer. Because, uh, yeah, like I said. Chats go fast. I feel like Facebook chat is like frozen on in like in the past. Like keep refreshing. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's possible that in, that that stream ended at 1:30. I don't know if we still do that, but. Marines reporting for duty. Uh, yeah. Personally, I'm really looking forward to Persona 5. Cool. James says cool because he has no interest in Persona 5 <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, my girlfriend Chastity explained to me what. Persona games are, uh, and they sounded cool. Like I like that. I like that idea of the, uh, the like dungeon. But I've never played. It. Uh, also, obviously Zelda. I'm really looking forward to Zelda. Yeah, me enemy, too. enemy destroyed. Is this the end? God, I hope so. Yeah, it's over, man. Strike at Decimus's main base completed. It's over. It's over, man. Game over. I'm guessing that's Decimus. All right. All right, and we're gonna fight Decimus. Uh, this doesn't seem oh fair. Oh man, I don't have units for this. I didn't. Oh god. It never ends, man. <laughs> it's, it's the mission that never ends. <laughs> the second mission in the game. That's kicking my butt. Ready for orders, sir. We've damaged his armor. Don't let up. Oh, I have, I have <laughs> an embarrassingly large army sitting off in the corner doing nothing. So. Admittedly at fault here. Kyle Kyle Kamiki says, please play using a controller. <laughs> That's I guarantee there are probably many problems. That is not one of them. Okay, look. There we go. We got a strike. I do wish there was um Oh you know what there probably is. I wonder if I'm playing against people with controllers. Yeah. We can solve this problem. 1v1 me, bro. <laughs> oh, but, uh, blitz only. I am no good at any other mode. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, we just Listen to that engine purr. I'm under so uh, so yeah, that's how the mission ended. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a, a spectacular victory. We all got together and killed Decimus. I had enough units there at that point to kill him. Uh, it was it was a prolonged conclusion. Yeah, and yeah. I definitely didn't back out of that mission intentionally to go play. Oh, what is this? Oh, interesting. I get a I get a uh, a blitz pack Ooh. for. Go check that out. Rumble. The, mo the mode I care about. This is a UNSC specific blitz pack, even though it's got Covenant cards in it, so okay. Got the chopper. We got the Marines. Okay, so remember we were talking about that um, rock, paper, scissor? Yeah. Of, of, of uh, air, infantry, and vehicles? Yeah. So you can see, like, Elite Rangers, for instance, are have a green rating against infantry and a red rating, meaning they can still damage but are very ineffective against both vehicles as well as uh, aircraft. Cool. And then they have this uh, detect thing, which means they can see stealth, and you can read up on those keywords when you click on the card. Teleport. That's cool. All right. Let's back out. Um, we are going to quickly check out Firefight. Firefight. Though that can take quite a, a long time. So before we do that, we're gonna just going to play a Blitz game. 
Uh, let's go into the deck manager real quick and just go over some basics here for people. So you can choose between all these different leaders. Uh, let's select Decimus, for example. Here's my army. Here's my deck. And then I can click edit deck up here, as well as the deck stats to see like my curve. Um, but what you may not know, what's a pro tip, is down here is your starting army. Yeah. You can change it. Oh, so you cool. start Normally you start with Berserker, which is actually pretty terrible. You get three jump pack brutes and then a single, uh, I believe it's a cloaked reaver. But uh, this is potentially the best starting army in terms of straight out fighting in the game. It's called Vampire. You spawn with four um, life-stealing grunt battalions, as well as a... Uh, a ghost? No, it's a um, chopper that buffs everybody. So it's very strong. Um, but if you didn't know that, there you go. I highly recommend Blitz Mode. Uh, you'll either love it or hate it. Should we do a 2v2? Uh, let's see 2v2. Yeah, I'm interested. 2v2 is tough because if I get matched with a level 1 guy and they have a level 14 guy, we're going to lose. you got to carry him. We're going to lose. Nah, I'm not going to carry gonna them carry him. to victory, James. <laughs> $5 on it. <laughs> uh, I uh, promise I won't carry them. Um, Cody, Cody Gouledge wants to know, James, are you still playing for honor? No, actually. Honest answer, I'm not playing for honor anymore. There you go. There uh, you go. That's it. Josiah, Josiah, or Josiah Walker says, you guys rock. Oh, thank oh you. thanks, buddy. It's really nice. Uh, it's always nice to hear nice comments in the YouTube chat. Uh, what else is going on? Where the heck is the final review? We kind of talked about this already. It's going up is, soon. Is it not up there? Come on, Dan. Stop slacking. <laughs> it's going up soon. Danny if States, not, if you're watching not this, already. what's up? We have, a, uh, we have a morning meeting here at IGN, and uh, this morning meeting, he was like, yeah, it's pretty much up. So if it's not up by now, you can be rest assured that he is furiously correcting typos or something in the... Uh... All right, we're going to play Decimus. I'm sorry. Yeah, not Aatrox, Decimus. Because I believe uh, 2v2 is much less about being able to very quickly gather those power nodes or those resources. It's a lot more about standing up and fighting. Um, and I think that a stronger start than Forge uh, is Decimus. We're playing against two players who are playing the default Jack Cutter, who I find to be... I'm going to eat these words because I bet he's top tier <laughs> secretly, but I actually don't find him to be that good, uh, personally. Um, I'm always so... Oh, my God. From playing Hearthstone, uh, I'm always so, so careful to make any comment about the meta in a CCG because you just... You think you know stuff. You don't when it comes to <laughs> collectible card games is what I've learned. Um... Oh man, I got so excited because there was a, there was someone who tweeted using the hashtag IGN plays live, and it's just a comment we just read. Oh YouTube. yeah, am I still? <laughs> I guess we could talk about it more. I'm done playing For Honor uh, for now. Uh, I'm playing other games in my spare time. It's I like For Honor. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's got problems netcode wise uh, that I don't like, and, and it makes it a more inconsistent experience than if it were dedicated servers. Come on, guys, dedicated servers. It's I know. 2017. They, they spend a lot of resources on this, like, cool P2P system they have, and I can respect that. That's cool. Fine. Whatever. I'm just, I'm not into it, personally. But hey, whatever. It's all good. Like, 80 to 90% of the time, the gameplay is fine. But then that 10 to 20%, it doesn't. Feels bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm bringing my main base over to B. I'm going to try and contest. This is one of those energy drops that is super even. Which I actually feel like they should probably all be. Um, Alright, we are going to get over here and just absolutely obliterate this army. Here we go. I'm going to bring a, a grunt drop in, which has rush, which means they're going to spawn at full HP. And this guy's going to get wrecked, as we say in the biz. Uh, I'll bring some hunters in here in the back. Oh, actually, you know what? No. Let's have this dude go capture that. Uh, Alright, so we, we're off to a really good start here. Um... We're going to get a... I don't know what our, okay, our ally is going to see. Oh, and dude, look, they haven't even captured this. Oh, so, get it. Uh, who's my fastest unit? This chopper. I don't want to lose this chopper. Oh, but I'm gonna is snipe he getting it. it right now? I'm going to snipe it. I'm going to snipe it. I'm going to snipe it. Ram this guy. Ram this guy. He rammed it. I got it. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> yeah, That's... something happened. I don't quite know what, but I'm excited. <laughs> you should be excited because that, like, that early resource thing just absolutely turns the tide in a game like this. Um, all right, we're going to get a Wraith put it, over put here. Put it in MOBA term, terms for me. Did you just get the first dragon? We just got first blood and okay. first dragon. We okay. got both first blood and first dragon. Nice. Now the enemy okay. team is chilling in their base. I understand They what have you're two saying, AFK yeah. players, and uh, people who queued into this as a ranked game are crying. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is a weird bug. Like, the units are not in their circles. Oh, now they are. There we go. Hashtag James got good. 
Hashtag James got killed. Uh, so something you can do that you totally should do is if you have a valuable unit like this guy who is really good at buffing other guys, expensive, don't want to lose him, I'm going to micro him back to the base, have him heal up. Uh, I'll even do with these grunts. Uh, and this appears to be a no contest match. They bring it Are they in. like not even playing? They're or? not even playing. I think oh. they, they got their initial starting armies. So, uh, oh, here's a great piece of feedback about Blitz that I think is a terrible decision. When you hit escape, uh, or on the keyboard, it's F10 for some incredibly stupid reason. Um, that's how I think that's how uh, StarCraft and Warcraft were, though. What F10? Yeah. Oh, it's not as good. Anyway, nope. Well, there's at least a menu button. I guess this was made for a controller. Uh, F10. You can resign. It gives you a penalty for resigning. You get a. Ugh. So like, imagine QQ uh, GG and QQing. <laughs> hmm. Imagine GGing and StarCraft gave you a penalty. What? <laughs> so instead of playing people just when they start losing they just AFK. Uh, now this doesn't That's happen ridiculous. all the time but yeah like player behavior is something you need to, to think about when you are incentivizing that kind of stuff. So this is a, a, a match win. Um, uh, and Trent Andrew says AFK players laugh my ass off. They're DC'd by the amazing servers. Oh really? Are they DC? Were they DC'd? I'm s no they just they just spawned another unit not DC'd. Um, I actually haven't had server problems. Maybe I'm the only one. <laughs> I've had, you were far from the first person I've heard complain about the servers. But uh, We're going to do a 1v1 after this. That was fun. That was a look at 2v2. Uh, a single fight in 2v2. Cool. Uh, we got some art, uh, hot tips from Arctrue Perelli yep. Beckles. Since, once again, sorry if I mispronounced your name. IGN, you should harass them with hornets if you have them. Have you ever, have you ever made hornets to uh, to harass the enemy team? Uh, I don't think hornets are that great. No, I think I think hornets and ghosts serve a single purpose, and that's to burst down big air units that have almost died and are running away. Um, I think that there are other units that are much better at harassing, like the locusts, for example, or the covenant. Um, uh, apparently, uh, Neil that ass Tyson said, "Oh my God, I'm playing with you guys right now." Were you, <laughs> are you, were you the guy that helped us stomp on those, our team? those dudes? Or did you get a... I have to see, like, will it show uh, the name of the person? In I here? don't know. That's really cool. Yeah, that Thank is cool. Thank you for helping us, uh, for helping us get win. that, that hard-fought victory. Or potentially being a valiant opponent for the first fight <laughs> and then GGing. But, like, it's not... Oh, I, I, don't, I don't dislike AFK players because they they don't have any other option in this mode. Like you either you either AFK or you resign and take a hit, so it's better to AFK. All right, let's go back to one v one. Oh, we got a tweet. We got a tweet. It's like Christmas, guys. I, I get so excited when people tweet <laughs> using the hashtag IGN plays live. <laughs> Just do it. You'll make Mitch's day. <laughs> uh, okay. We got a question from Cybershark. Sure. Don't, of course. Don't mean to be a loaded question, but what price would you wait? Would you wait for Halo Wars to drop Ooh. before buying? Ooh. That is Ooh, a great question. Good question following up on a statement uh, that James made earlier. Cool. You know, putting a price on games based on the content experience is always very nebulous, but I always just go to what I feel would be fair and what I would personally pay out of my own pocket for this game. And it's probably 40 bucks right now. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Here, here. So I, I do imagine this game will do pretty well for Xbox One, seeing as there are not a lot of Xbox One exclusives, even though we're playing it on PC. Um... And then I imagine, looking at a couple months, I, I would imagine there would be a sale coming down the line. Um, and maybe you'll be able to pick up the season pass for a... I, I guess, like, the main reason that I'm saying wait, waiting is the right call for this game right now is not only because uh, you could potentially save money, but there are problems right now. There are problems that need fixing, and when they get fixed, you won't have to worry about them. Like Hitman, for instance. I purchased Hitman a month ago. When it came out, I'm like, um, hey, he plays it every night. I, I see, I see him on my. I my love Steam. it. I love <laughs> Hitman. Hitman. Uh, my first couple hours in Hitman, I was like, wow, this game is terrible. It holds your hand. Blah blah blah. Then I got to professional difficulty. Then I got to the uh, uh, escalations. There's so many awesome parts of that game, uh, and I, I see negative reviews, and they're all about the servers Ready being terrible. Sure. They're there. all about all these bugs, and I'm like, I didn't have to experience any of that because I just waited. Uh, and I, I think that's something we should all kind of get in the habit of, of doing. Um, and yeah, I think a, another, like, this game without bugs, I think is pretty good, especially Blitz. I like Blitz a lot. Uh, that's very divisive, but anyway. 
not a lot of people like this. Nadia Hale is unsubbing and Let's disliking roll. the video because they didn't they get a shout out. Oh, well, you Man, just did, though. It, it did, kind of. Whatever. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. We still love you. We still like you a lot. But we would like you a lot more if you, you oh, sub. Oh, like I'm playing video. against the cloaker guy. Uh, he's going to. He's going to get those, so I'm going to decommit from that. This is a very tough start because um, the units are cloaked, and if you don't have anything to deal with them, then you get wrecked. And they can just contest. <laughs> they can hilariously just contest points all day. There's very little you can do about it. Uh, so, we, uh, what do I want here? I already have a detector unit right there. I'm going to bring this guy off that point. My strategy against this matchup is just not to fight until I have a unit that is, is going to annihilate these dudes. Oh, but I have to fight this. Oh boy, I absolutely have to fight this. We're going to get a we're going to get a silly vulture in here just to back this up. This is going to be a ridiculous play on my part. Oh, locust is up. Thanks. This this is one of those times where you either win or lose. And in this case, I'm fine. So let's get back there. Uh, that that could have been a game losing play, but it. Sometimes you have to take Got risks. Solid 39 Ender wants to know, what's your favorite unit in Halo Wars 2? My favorite unit in Halo Wars 2 is probably a tie between the Vulture, which is this big dude up here. Where is he? Oh, he's being attacked. That's getting killed. All right, we're going we're gonna to spawn in a healer to help him. Uh, he's got this really cool cruise missile ability. My other favorite unit is probably Forge himself, like Sergeant Forge. You can summon him. Uh, I, had, I had some people talking about Sergeant Forge. I, I, like, do yeah. you miss Sergeant Forge? I guess... He's only in Blitz as a, as a yeah. person you can summon. Yeah, you can summon him, and I like that a lot. Um, oh, this is, this is the sweetest thing I've seen today. Uh, DJ Robin on Twitter says, No question, just like seeing how happy tweets make you. Keep up the awesome work. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, and just as I read that, there's another tweet. Wow, look at that. Killer my Miller says hi What's on up? Twitter. What's up, buddy? Using the hashtag IG in place live. Hi there. All right, so I like to get my scout units like spread across the map, and of course my command, my control groups aren't working properly right now. But uh, so like I'm gonna put one over here in these kind of like predestined drop areas. Um, uh, the, he's building up some kind of army somewhere, and I'm gonna have to deal with it eventually. But I'm doing a pretty good job right now. I need to make sure. Oh, I need to make sure that there are detector units around all my dudes. Uh, oh boy! Get him out of there! Yeah, we're getting glass. We're gonna. We're gonna decommit from this, but I'm gonna bomb him myself. Nice. Do you know if uh, the hero abilities still work in Blitz mode? Like the F, F, F abilities? F does nothing. F does nothing. Click it in. Um, Energy, dropped. Energy dropped. Let's see where we're at. All right, just as I suspected. Right here, so this guy's gonna have no problem getting that one. I'm gonna bring this dude around over here. Testing zone A with my big unit. Uh, I will bring. A, I'm gonna bring a Vanguard Kodiak in here just to make sure that dies for sure. That was actually probably a bad play. Whatever. This guy, so this guy's making a critical error where he is forgetting about picking up these drops. Are you talking about your teammate, or are you talking about the other the other team? Oh, I don't have I don't have a teammate. Oh, this is one on one. Okay, that's right. One v one. All right, I got that. I'm out. So I just like to try and hold down two points. I don't necessarily like going for three unless I have a big lead. Uh, bring that guy over there. Oh, crap. I just lost a dude. Or no, I didn't. We're good. All right, bring in the Grizzly, and then we have a really nice big juicy army that we can start sicking on people. Got a good question on Facebook. Davian Bowens wants to know, can you zoom in so we can see the graphics for a moment? Um, I don't know that I can zoom in. And if Mouse wheel? No, yeah, mouse wheel doesn't do anything. I know you can zoom in. Let me take that back. I just don't know how. All right, so we're doing a Pelican drop. So here comes our Pelican. He's going to drop off all these units, and this is going to be yeah, a, yeah. what is called a pro play <laughs> for pro players. We're going to get that Locust down because that's a real power unit. Um, these guys cloaked, and despite having detectors, like I'm having a difficult time seeing them somehow. Uh, they're right. running like cowards. They are. Sometimes you got to do it, though. We're going to bring our, our main army back. This is looking good so far. Uh, Bill W says alt and mouse wheel is to zoom in. Calculating there it is. Oh, oh, there you go. go. We're going to look at some units real quick because I don't have a ton of time. Oh, that's how you move the camera, too. Look at that. There you go. Some Learn some something units. new with James Duggan. Yep. Uh, we're going to bring another vulture in. I need help. Uh, oh, here comes the big Here comes the big fight, guys. There won't be anything left of them. Ready to do what oh, they just got done. some drops, but we... Oh, no. 
Oh man, that lightning is nasty. Is that your guy that's doing it? No, it's, no, it's that guy. Okay, we're going to use all our stuff against that locust. We're going to bring Kill that in. locust. Ooh, he's... Heavy Bubble metal's shield. going up. <laughs> we got I'm a heavy just... metal we got. Uh, this is... Oh, get that wraith down, get the wraith down. We need this guy back. Like he's way too far out. Uh, ooh, this guy's got active abilities up. Yeah, this is what we call a win. As he loses lose the lead. lead. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get a Cyclops going over there. Get B. What is uh, he oh, I'm getting glass. Get out of there, dude. Uh, I don't want to get glass. Getting glass is bad. This is a this is a hard fought, hard fought potentially victory. Uh, I need to get units over to. Uh oh. Uh, that was a mistake on his part. Uh, uh, Alec Magnum wants to know: Do you guys play any tabletop games slash card games? Games like this that include card packs makes me drool as a board game nerd. Yeah, I used to. Uh, I used to play MTG. I used to also MTG. play MTG. Not very well, but uh, there was a time during my middle school years that I got super into Magic. All right. So what I love about RTS games, in particular this, is a lot of the times I feel... Let's see if we have playing games. Uh-oh. Go kill these hunters. Um, a lot of the times I feel like I'm really struggling, and then I just realize the enemy is struggling more. And that's a really good feeling. Uh, we're going to bring this tank around. We're also going to bring Commander Forge in. Uh, he's putting up some fighting at Forge. I'm going to get my guys out of there. They're dying. I'm going to bring in a Vanguard Kodiak. There. Uh, we'll have Forge in. Just looking at some comments here. Got people asking, is this, is this game worth it? We've already kind of addressed that. I would also say wait for the review. It should be up on IGN.com soon. Sure. Um, wait, are they playing on a laptop? No, we're playing on a desktop PC. <laughs> yeah, we're playing on a desktop. You just can't see it. All right. Uh, we got all three points under control. This was what I would classify as a good game. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. I had a really good shout out to... How do I bring up the scoreboard? Tab? Tab isn't, nope. isn't doing anything. Alt tab? <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Don't hit alt tab. I'm not going to do that. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, my God. I got to Oh, look, look, look. Super unit. Oh, dang. We're going to get out of here. It doesn't matter. He's going to take zone. Oh, I need How did he get, get that? Is that uh, something in his deck? Just a big card. Yeah, it's a, they, they're these super units that are that are very, very impactful. and will always win fights, but they're temporary. Yeah. So you just, you just run away. You just run away, and that's all kinda, there is to that. Kind of like what happens when uh, someone pops revenge and, dis and I was going to call it Dishonored. For Honor. And something just up and bit me. <laughs> Charlie I. bit me. All right. Let's check out the... Does anybody want to see the firefight mode? I think we can still the last check that last 20 out. minutes? Yep. That is Let's about a 20-minute mode, so I think that'll work. Hey, I'm rank 5. Look at that. I like Blitz a lot. I, I really like kind of the core conceit and what's going on in Blitz. I like the back and forth. I like the cards. Um, I like having to stay on your toes and pick up those resource drops. I like not having a base. So Blitz, for me, is is um, uh, a thumbs up with a huge asterisk being that it's super buggy. And just wait for those bugs to get fixed before you go all in on this. Uh, but let's check out some fire. Great question from Carl Alfred on Twitter. Uh, do you feel like uh, you're facing players with equally level decks in blitz mode because that's that would be my concern one of the things i hate the most about sure. games that focus on rng is the feeling of losing to someone when you feel like you are a better player and that's something that i feel like if i'm playing against someone who obviously has better cards in their deck than i do you know that's uh that's a, a bad feeling yeah that is really a question um so when you join the game and if you play in this first week you get commander forge for free i don't know if he's going to be free after that if he comes as DLC that you have to pay for and it's day one, I think that's kind of crappy, personally. But yeah. uh, you also get five packs for him. So a lot of people just start playing on him because they have cards for him. Uh, but when I started playing, I was just bombarded with packs. I got two from playing the beta. I got five for release. I got five for forge. You do your dailies. You level up. You get more packs. Um, I felt as though I was able to get to a competitive place with my packs. Maybe this is only because the game hasn't been out for that long and, and people in, in a couple months will have uh, substantially leveled cards. 
But I didn't necessarily, I haven't gone up against a match where I'm like, okay, this guy's just too powerful. Sure. Um, the one unit that I did feel that way about, we're going to play Decimus here, uh, was um, the cloaked covenant unit. Who And then there's a Spartan that can actually take over your units. That he can, like, carjack them. Mm -hmm. um, and that feels bad, not knowing what that unit is. But, like, uh, any CCG, I think, has that. Feels bad, man. So that's a really good question. My answer would be... I don't really think so. I don't. I've. I have not spent any money on this game aside game from, um, like getting a code for two, it. So one, obviously, just go. after you buy it, basically, um, I've not spent any microtransaction money on packs. Um, sure. So we're playing firefight mode right now. Uh, what's the deal with firefight mode? What, what's your your goal here? The goal here is to survive as long as I can, and it inevitably becomes a game about choke points guys up to A. Uh, you can see I start with a lot of resources actually and I can actually bring down some cool units here. Um, so when the enemy gets his this little area to 100 by controlling points, you lose. Um, I've got to around wave 23. And you can see up here it says easy right now. That's going to increase. You can see how, watch how fast I get through these units. So it, does it so, get harder the, the better you do? Yeah, look at how fast I'm cutting through these units. Damn. So, the enemies get tougher, um, the game gets harder, but it it's a really good space, in addition to just kind of being fun on its own, it's a really, really good space to test out your deck. Um, there are some decks that like just straight up do better in Firefight than they would in a normal match. Um, big, tanky units tend to do really well in this mode, but it's a really good place to just like come and, and, and remember that you, every once in a while, have to pick up these resource drops, that are very important. It's a good like training ground, basically. That's cool. And can obviously firefight in other Halo games was mostly notable because it was co-op wave yes. survival. Uh, can this be played co-op? This can be played co-op. Up to four players or? Um, I believe it's maybe only two. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's only two. Ooh. Still pretty good though. All right, let's bring in a Wraith. Uh, there are also like commander specific units. Um, that I I really like. There's a, a good diversity of units despite it being a very, very small unit roster relative to something like Hearthstone. Um. Alright, we got more people. Dan Bishop on Twitter wants to know, is this season, season's pass worth it debating getting the standard edition versus, versus the ultimate edition? If you are super sold on buying this game right now and not waiting for some of the kinks to get ironed out, I would recommend the standard edition. You can always upgrade. You yep. always get the season pass afterwards. You can't do the opposite. Show us our victims. All right, let's see what's going on. We got people talking in the Twitch chat about uh, buying cards with in-game currency at versus uh, you know just buying them with real money. In-game currency. There, there's there is no in-game in currency, right? Yeah, there is no in-game currency that I'm right. aware of. Uh, it's all just like done from dailies. But that's kind of how most of most of CCGs work anyway, like The Witcher, uh, Gwent, as an example, Hearthstone. They super incentivize daily play and don't incentivize long periods of play, which I, I kind of dislike. Um, this game has more interesting, like, weeklies in addition to dailies than, like, win nine games. You're not going to do that in, like, a hot second, so that incentivizes kind of a more bingey style of play, which I'm into. Sure. We got a question from John on Twitter. Y2K bug 978 asks, how grind heavy is the game, and are there are, are the microtransactions just for the card purchases or other cos cosmetics? You know, that's a good question. I don't know that there are things outside of. I believe they're all. It's all Blitz mode. I could be wrong. Um, but okay, we're gonna summon a blister back real quick. Uh, or not? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's not very grind heavy. We were just talking about dailies. The dailies. The daily in specific. Uh, specifically the dailies, not the weeklies, you complete very quickly. The weeklies take a lot longer, but I, I found that they're a pleasure to play. They incentivize you to play new, non-optimal decks that are kind of just there. It's, it's like hard mode almost. That's just an anti-air unit. And, uh, okay, so something that's crucial in firefight mode is microwing back your units before they die. Um, so I don't think it's super grind heavy. Also, the card library, like the card pool is not huge. 
So in place of having a 300 card set, you're just upgrading cards, and they get slowly statistically better. So if I got level 2 Brunt Rush, these guys would have a little level 2 above their head. They would have more HP and do more damage. So in that sense, it could get really unfair really fast, but it hasn't yet for me. So, All right, we're going to summon a Blister back here. This is a really cool unit that I like a lot. It can either be an air unit that focuses ground, or it can be a ground unit that turns into artillery. Nice. Very versatile. Yeah. And what's great about it is if you have it as an artillery unit here, you can pop it in the air and bring it back here. And really good. Just a it's Almost top like a... Oh, 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 Ooh. crap. We need to run away from this. I was going to say almost like a flying siege tank. Yeah. Uh, these are these are hero units. I didn't see that they were spawning, so now we need to micro our dudes up here. Um, this is how you lose a lot of units really quick. And I actually messed up pretty bad here. Well, we're not going to see... We're not going to see, like, the result of my messing up for quite a few waves, but... Uh, we had a question from Daniel Knecker on Facebook. What are the functions of the leaders in multiplayer? Um, in Blitz? Uh, I, yeah, let's let's talk Blitz, because right. that's, that's what you really know, right? Yeah, yeah. So, the functions of the leaders are they have specific cards. Basically, if you think about Hearthstone, Execute is a warrior card, Fireball is a mage card. They have different cards that are exclusive to um, their deck. So, like, for instance, the... Um, what is that giant thing called that I was summoning? Why can't I think of it? The, the huge two-barreled tank, the scorpion on steroids. Um, anyway, uh, is that's exclusive to, like, Boundless Fury, for example. That's exclusive to Decimus, I believe. Okay. But th that tank uh, that I was talking about earlier is exclusive to Forge. Right. So in addition to having these common pool cards like Hunters, which is something that all the Covenant have access to, uh, there are these specific cards that um, you need to be playing the right commander to use. And I, in that sense, I think it... it does a really good job of differentiating them. I will do it. Cool, cool. Guys, okay. we have 13 minutes left to go on the stream. If you have any further questions about Halo Wars 2, make sure to tweet us using the hashtag IGN Plays Live. We'll get them red and uh, finish. hopefully finish off. Uh, well, we probably won't finish off this round of Firefight, right? We might. We might? We're, we're, it starts going pretty quick. Just ended a, a dramatic uh, suicide of James Duggan just losing. Yep. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll definitely cap out around, like, level 20 or 21 here, but, yeah, we may get there. I feel very good about my performance in Blitz. That was fun. That yeah. Was a really good time. Got some good games in there. How many game modes are there at Smiter on Twitch? We kind of talked about that right. already. Firefight. Yep. Blitz. Firefight regular. I saw Rumble. What's, what's Rumble mode? I don't know. I don't know what Rumble is. Free for all, uh. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's. Rumble. Conventional mode, there's story mode. There's a significant amount of modes. It's not, I don't think this game is particularly um, feature light. Like, I, I think it's pretty well built out feature wise. I just think it's what there is there needs a little bit of luck. Kilimanjaro, my favorite! <laughs> Kilimanjaro. What else we got going on here? Let me check YouTube chat again. What does IGN stand for? It stands for Imagine Games Network. No, but it right now, no. Take that back. Oh, okay. it actually doesn't stand for it. Well, that's what I was going to say. Oh, okay. It used to stand for Imagine yeah, Game Game Network. Now it's just, it's just IGN. It doesn't really stand for anything. Our investors need to make it very clear that it doesn't stand for Imagine Games. Yes. That was a silly name. You take that back. You take that back. <laughs> you dirty liar. Uh, my favorite Covenant <laughs> unit is the Grunt Mob. I just love the idea of, like, we're going to do it right here. Uh, actually, this is a great use for it. All right. No, don't die, don't die. So anyway, I brought that guy, the Grunt Mob, in, and they have Rush, so they spawn at full HP. You can bring them straight into the battle, drop them anywhere. It's kind of the Covenant, uh, Covenant equivalent of the ODST. Cool. Like a lot. Uh, we have a question from Reclaimer627, who has been trying to ask this question for a while. Sorry, I haven't gotten to it until now. But what's your favorite Banish character? Mine is Shipmaster, and why do you like that Banish character? Um, Decimus. Decimus. Because he's the best. <laughs> I, uh, I don't like Shipmaster. I think Shipmaster is one of those characters that, on the low end, feels terrible to play against because cloaked units that you can't do anything against at the very start of the game feel bad. Yep. Um, 
And then on the high end, I don't think he's that good. So, like, he's the worst of both worlds, in my opinion. Um, but I can respect the people who, who do like him. Uh, I think Decimus is just a good, hardy, hardy dude with some, some cool stuff at his disposal. Here, here. Locust. Reaver. Here, over here. Uh, I think I think Firefight does a, a successful job of teaching you about a lot of things, teaching you about microwing damage units back to your base, teaching you about uh, making sure to pick up your resources, and then also teaching you to make sure that each army is equipped with things like detect and anti-air. Uh, what it, do you? Because you've played Firefight before, obviously. What's your? Uh, do you remember how far you've gotten? Twenty-three. Time -wise? It turns into legendary mode at 23, and then I just get stomped. Uh, okay. um, like, once you start losing a third of your units, the next wave, you're just going to die. So, uh, uh, Forge Planet TV says, I got to 35 minutes. If you beat that's that, impressive. I will comfortably subscribe. <laughs> Fortunately, that will not happen on that's this not, stream. It's certainly not going to happen in the time frame we have. Uh, <laughs> with that being said, I think you could tailor a deck specifically to uh, survive in Firefight. Yeah. And I have not done that. I've been playing with PvP. I'm getting hit by their air down. I'll see to it. Get moving. 35 is impressive. That's good. We're doing on a raid. Tip of the hat to you, sir. Good or ma'am. Let's see. Anyone else tweeting at us? No new tweets. Twitch, what's going on? Right Man, it's, it's so... I have such mixed emotions about this game. Yeah? How yeah. so? I have a lot of fun playing it at times. I really I really do enjoy it at times. And at other times, I am completely floored by how, how like, the state in which it is launched. Some games, I'll go through the entire game without experience a bug, and others will be completely controlled by stuck units, by being able to, unable to, like, maneuver my camera. So... I actually think when the bugs get fixed, this, this this could be something that I play in my personal time, which is saying a lot, but um, right now, I, I caution everybody, like, you know, wait wait until Bungie addresses some of these. 343? Three, wait until 343. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bungie. close. Sorry, Bungie. Close call. You guys have your own destiny patches <laughs> that you're worry, worrying about and, and maybe rolling back, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. There's, there's enough uh, <laughs> issues going on with destiny that yeah. I'm sure people will... will Watch tweet. Fire Team chat. And, Make sure you uh, guys at home tweet at Bungie with all your Halo Wars 2 related feedback. <laughs> um, they'll also, be, they'll also be tweet happy. at Destin Legary. <laughs> make sure that uh, he knows about it too. Yeah, make sure if you have <laughs> any problems in Destiny with the most recent patch, make sure you tweet at Destin. He'll solve them. <laughs> He's just going to be in Canada being like, what the hell's going on? Is that where he is? I didn't know where he went. I think he went to Canada. Oh, is that why him and CJ went there? They're, uh, they're Canadian pals. <laughs> All right, this, I have like a, a Thermopylae choke point strat going on right here, and it's working out pretty well. Please define what a Thermopylae uh, choke point You don't know what strategy. Thermopylae is? <laughs> Dude, wait, did you go to social studies? It's uh, the Battle of 300. Oh, okay. So I have a good Gerard Butler strategy going on over here. Um... I wasn't saying it for me. I was oh, saying okay. it for sure. the, of course, you know, of course, for everyone yes. else out there. Yes, yes. Who didn't watch yet. the movie 300? <laughs> the Battle of Thermopylae. Preparing All right. Uh, if Spartans taught, taught us anything, it's that mean people are the best soldiers. There you go. Mean, evil-spirited people <laughs> who keep large amounts of. of Dentured servants and just terrible people in general make the best warriors. Yeah. It's sad but true. Evil wins. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you you watch Star Wars. Spoilers. <laughs> evil wins. Uh, back to the game. Uh, v zero three V wants to know why don't you just set up a nice concave around the enemy spawn point and kill them at that's the start. That's kind of what I'm slowly uh, gravitating towards doing. Um, but you know what? Let's just do it. Do it. I, that, that's going to be disappointing if that's like the defining strat of firefight is to just like put all of your units on there. <laughs> we got we got six minutes. Let's see if this works. This is the. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, we have. Oh, that's terrible. We have two healer units over here doing absolutely nothing. 
Um, all right, let's do Boundless Fury right now. I'm just going to show it off. So that's like oh, kind man. of an ultimate ability almost. It, it basically puts everybody on steroids. Um, and they just, they just do work. Uh, we have a uh, tip from Forge Planet TV to to get the 35 minutes on on firefight. Uh, the key to firefight is to put a a lo load of blood locusts next to the straight by their base. Interesting. Thanks for the tip. Best way to play. Best way, <laughs> Best to, play. way to play. Best way to play coming up. Uh, it's going <laughs> to be focused on PVP blitz. Um, if by the way, please, if anybody has watching, tweet at Thuggin Duggan, T H U G G N D U G G N, with um your favorite deck. Like, shoot shoot me a screenshot of your favorite deck in Firefight, one that you've won with a lot. I have two that I really like, but I want to see more. I want to see more archetypes, specifically for Shipmaster. I will feature you and shout you out in an upcoming Best Way to Play. Um, and put me on that tweet, at Jurassic Rabbit, just because I like getting tweets. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he just he likes getting tweets on IGN Plays Live on his yep. personal account. But, you know, who doesn't like getting doesn't. tweets, I guess? Thing. Speaking of, Carl Alfred, once again, uh, do you gain experience in Firefight to level up and achieve new cards? No. No. No, 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 no. Uh, let me take that back. Maybe if you beat it. I've never beat it, but I thought I thought it was just like survive until you can't survive anymore. But I've gotten decently high up there, and I've received no experience. Um, at some point, this does become a little bit mindless. For sure. Um, yeah, like the best decisions and experiences and, and, and really engaging as a player has come from PvP plays. I like that a lot. I imagine that the conventional multiplayer mode would also engage me. I just don't really have the patience uh, to learn about base building. It's taking so much time in the blitz. Uh oh! Okay, here's where the strategy starts to kind of fall apart. They're coming out and they're just shooting at me from the base and they're doing a ton of damage. Uh, so are they invulnerable while they're in the base? Um, or do they get they receive back? healing? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they may be. They may actually be invulnerable. I'm not sure. Never fought anybody in the base. So we just saw our first people broke through this little structure. Uh, we're gonna back our units up here. How much time do we have left? We have three minutes left. All right. Let's uh, let's start summarizing. In summation, I think Halo Wars 2 is a fun game. Um, I think that it's relatively feature-rich, uh, and I think there is an experience here for people who enjoyed the first game, or maybe just like the Halo aesthetic and want to experience a, an RTS for the first time. With that said, I think it's in a pretty poor state right now in terms of uh, its bugs and support, um, but for a full review done by the incredibly experienced Dan Stapleton, uh, check out IGN.com. That should be up, if not now, uh, very, very soon. Um, and you can read his entire thoughts there. Him and I disagree on Blitz Mode, though. He doesn't like Blitz Mode as just the core base of it. I love Blitz Mode. Um, I think Blitz Mode is a really, in, in like, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Innovative? Innovative, exactly. I think <laughs> it's innovative. I think it's trying something new. I think that... Uh, Regardless of the RNG elements, I think that that's something that... Oh, jeez, I'm getting wrecked. Oh, no. Uh, uh, I'm going to siphon field these dudes. Um, well, Boundless Fury, just because we're running out of time. Um, but yeah, I like Blitz a lot. He didn't really like Blitz. Yeah, I mean, from what I've seen, like I said, I was I, I wanted to see this... Uh, I wanted to see this game so that I could you know, know if I want to pick this game up myself. Um... And I like the variety of of what what you get for this game. Like, there's a lot of uh, there's a couple of really cool, different look seeming modes. You got the campaign, you got uh, firefight, you got blitz mode. Um, it seems like there's if you like the style of game, there's going to be a lot to, to sink your teeth into. Um, and yeah, so you 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 haven't noticed any uh, any significant issues with like the the servers though. Um, I haven't personally. I've heard tell that other people have. My issues have all been related to the game itself with, with bugs. Um, I think there are a lot of bugs that need addressing, but that I would have hoped would have happened after beta in between the time between launch, but haven't, and I'm disappointed. Um, but, you know, they still might happen, but right now I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on it to happen anytime soon. So, um, anyway, I'm definitely not losing here. It's not what it looks like when you start losing. <laughs> So I mean, we're gonna be ending the stream, and uh, before this finishes, uh, I, sure. I'm just gonna say you, you beat it. 
I beat yep. it. I and beat. I beat firefight. You and saw it here. You first. won't be able to prove any different. <laughs> this is how I play RTS. <laughs> like this. Oh man. Like an accordion. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching uh, us play through some some Halo Wars 2. Hopefully you guys uh, found it entertaining. Uh, I've been Mitchell Saltzman. I've been this James Duggan. Make sure you tweeted me at Duggan Duggan with your deck lists. Seriously, I need them. Uh, I want to put together a nice video showing off some cool deck lists and show me stuff that you've worked, and I'll test it out. Yep. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to IGN Plays Live. And we will be back here on Thursday with some Near Automata. And oh, then, oh. Ooh, people are excited about that, that game. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See you next time. What's up, everybody? Welcome to iGM Plays Live. I'm your host, James Duggan, joined by Mitchell Saltzman. Uh, we are checking out Halo Wars 2, which came out today, but I've been playing it for weeks. I have not point. been playing it at all. Uh, uh, 